Hi, this is Jane at Greenside Up. Today we are going to talk about planting in the shade. And Phyllis, this video is for you. So, some of you have nothing but sun in your yard. This video is probably not for you yet, until you plant some shade trees. Some of you have lots of shade in your yard, and some of you have, well, that's all you have in your yard is shade. So first of all, we're gonna talk about degrees of shade. Give me one moment. So as you see, this would be considered full shade. There's shade coming from above, there's shade in front of me here, there's, there's just shade everywhere. This would be if you had a yard that had lots and lots of trees, perhaps you have a building that creates full solid shade, there's no sun coming to that area whatsoever. Now, some of you have what's called part shade. Maybe you have morning sun. Maybe you have filtered sun. Filtered sun is like if you have some high trees and you can see some dancing sunbeams that come down through the trees, that would be part sun, morning sun. Then of course, there are those of you that have no shade at all, full sun. We're gonna talk about the first two, shade. We're going to address the full shade plants and areas first. As I said, full shade is where there's no sun reaching it at all. There are certain plants that thrive in those kind of areas. For instance, a fern does very well in, in a deep shaded area. A fern is considered a perennial, or there also, of course, are like Boston ferns, which are annuals here. Another annual, which gives lots of color in a full shaded area, is an impatient pinks, whites, different shades of lavenders. They look beautiful in a full shaded area. A more common situation than full shade is a partly shaded area. This might be an area where you have high trees, so you have the dancing, kind of like this, your sunbeams, or it might be an area where the sun comes early in the morning and by noon it is gone. Morning sun, part sun, those would be your lightly shaded areas. In my hand here, I have what's called a jugas. These are perennials that can handle that part shade. They do very well there. Um, hostas, oh, what else have we got? There's just all kinds of different plants that can handle that part shade. As far as shrubs, there's things like hydrangeas, azaleas, gardenias, the list goes on and on. There's lots of plants that can handle part shade. A lot of people down in this area are very interested in Japanese maples. When a person comes in and asks me about a Japanese maple, the first question I say is, what kind of sun do you have? And if they tell me I get all day sun, I say, I'm sorry, you cannot buy the traditional Japanese maples. There's only a couple kinds you can get because most Japanese maples require some shade. They cannot handle full sun. So if you're one of these lucky people that have morning sun, and filtered sun through the day, you can do Japanese maples in your yard. The rest of you, well, plant a big shade tree and in a few years you'll be able to do Japanese maples. I have had the question, how do I plant in a shaded area? Just exactly like you plant in a sunny area. As far as your soil requirements, they're going to be the same. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have um, nutrient rich soil. Down here in Fayetteville, we don't have real nutrient-rich soils. We usually tell people you're gonna to wanna to put some old compost and manure or some peat moss or something into your soil to amend it, to make it healthier for those little roots going through um, starting out. A lot of times in a shaded area, you will have maybe a leaf cover that has created a nice loamy soil, a nice, a nice rich soil, you're lucky. Um, you can utilize that and you can just plant right into the regular soil there. You don't need to amend that soil. When you're working with a shade garden, your water requirements will be just a little bit different than if you were planting something in full sun. In full sun, the soil dries out so quickly because of that heat that is radiating from the sun. And especially in a, um, a highly shaded area, your water requirements are just a whole lot less. That does not mean that you don't have to water but you just probably don't have to water as frequently. So always kind of just check it. Um, it depends on if you have a drought, if you know, if it's two weeks of 
95 degree temperatures, it's still gonna be hot in that shaded area. You are still definitely gonna need to water. So to recap, here are some choices for your shade garden. A still bee. Pasta. Ajuga. Ferns. Hookera, also known as coral bells. Ligularia has one of the few yellow flowers for the shade. For shrubs, hydrangea. Fatsia. Mahonia, soft caress. It's nice and touchable. And of course, the tried and true azaleas. So this is Jane giving you ideas for your shade garden. If you have any questions, come on in, green side up. We are open every single day. And I'm wishing you happy shade gardening.